Hi guys, I'm Young and right now I'm in front of the world's biggest electronics headquarters. So you guys can see I'm in front of Samsung Delight which is like the flagship store and it showcases different products of Samsung Electronics. And of course I'm excited because I'm a huge Samsung fan. So I've been using Samsung mobile phone for the last, I don't know, like 10 years and I do use Samsung S10 Plus which I really love, especially the wide angle lens. And as you guys know, in February, there will be a new announcement of Samsung mobile phone S11 or possibly S20 for the new year 2020. So while we talk about the new specs of Samsung S11 or S20 in this video, because all the information, I think it's pretty much leaked out already. Now let's talk about Samsung's new release in February and let's call it S11 for now. The design of it is a bit of a hybrid between Note 10 and S10. It has curved shape just like S10 and the front camera is punch hole in the middle. The general size is actually bigger than S10 series. All three phones offered including S11e will have the curved edge and now the most important is the camera. The camera will see the biggest improvement and you guys can see the huge difference in the look of the backside camera. It has a rectangular module. The leak shows that this module will contain five different cameras. Yes, five different cameras. The new mobile phone will offer 108 megapixel. That is a huge upgrade from 12 megapixel offered in the previous series. We have already seen 108 megapixels offered in Xiaomi's latest phone and that actually uses the latest smart ISO technology by Samsung. And the refresh rate will enjoy 120 Hz which we have already seen iPad Pro. All this is possible is by having the latest Qualcomm 865. The leak says, although we'll have to see, the video that S11 can capture is at 8K. If that is the case, that's pretty amazing. And of course, all these upgrades will consume a lot more power and we're likely to see 5,000 mega amp in S11 plus, 4,005 amp in S11, and possibly 4,000 in S11e. The launch date will be 11th or 18th of February. So I'm really excited about the new phone that will be released early next year. And with those specs, it means you can pretty much just use the phone to even vlog or even take YouTube videos. I don't have to carry big cameras around. So how exciting is that? I will come back with more up-to-date news as we get closer to the release date of S11 or S20. See you!